Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, thank you so much for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be having a, another update to my pan those shadows. So if you wanna see the progress I made and the shadows I'm rolling in, then just keep on watching. Before we get into that though, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, you guys, so this is an exciting update because I am rolling out three shadows. And um, before we get into that, I do wanna say I decided like after filming my last video that I'm going to change one of my rules. I will have all my rules down below. I don't feel the need to repeat it every uh, update, but um, I am changing the rule where, um, so I am changing the rule where instead of uh, either hit pan or 30 uses, I am changing it to hit pan or 20 uses. I just want to make sure that I'm rotating a little bit longer. I found like 30 was just a little too much for me. And I decided to, the, to apply that to the shades I've already picked. I was going to just say any shadows going forward, um, but I decided I wanted to apply it to the shadows that I am currently working on. Um, and that's just what I decided to do. Sorry. <laughs> um, but this is my project and I want to make sure that I'm keeping it exciting for me. And um, yeah, so uh, because of that rule change, I do have an, uh, a two shades rolling out because of that rule. So let's just hop into it, starting with the oldest shades that have been in this project, starting with the Bailey Serene in a State Cosmetics palette, the Venice Fling palette, and we had the shade Bonfire, which as you can see has a very awkward pan because it's like almost like a little shelf there. But if I tilt the pan, you can see there's the tiniest little pan. This was actually a surprise. Um, I didn't expect to hit pan, but I do have a little bit of pan. It took 29 uses in total, seven from the last update. So total 29, almost at 30 uses, um, but seven times since the last update. So I'm really glad I can roll this shade out. I love this palette. I love this formula. It's a really, really great formula, but I am excited to roll this out and bring something new in. Next up, the uh, one of my oldest shades as well is from the Tri Palette by Juvia's Place. We had the shade Aromo, and I used it an additional seven times to hit the 20 use goal, and we are nowhere near a dip. I know this is really shiny packaging, but I'm actually getting a pretty big dip in this shade, but um, yeah, there's a little bit of a dip, but nothing super big. Um, so I was never gonna hit pan in this. These, these, uh, this one, and then the next one I'm gonna talk about that I'm rolling out due to uh, hitting a number goal. Those will be eligible to be re-rolled into this project. Um, I have a lot of shades, so I don't know if that's gonna happen, but um, yeah, they will be eligible to re-roll. Um, if I somehow pull it for this round, I'm gonna re-roll but yeah so this is eligible to be re-rolled into a future update and then the last one that's rolling out due to a number goal is from my just my luck palette from ColourPop. we had the shade charmed um as you can see there's a pretty pretty decent dip i feel like it would take me quite a while to hit pan because i would mostly use this on my water not my waterline my lower lash line or as liner or just a little bit to deepen up looks so i think this would have taken a decent amount of time but um I'm excited to actually roll it out and bring some new shades in um I used this six times since the last update to hit that 20 use goal so now we're going to get into the two shades I have that are not rolling out first up I have my moon spell palette from Lunar Beauty this is going to be in the whole project I'm going to be rotating through the shadows trying to hit pan on as many as I can I am going to allow myself to roll out shades due to the number goal just so I'm always rotating and working on something new. I can always re-roll the shade. Um, right now we have the shade Kiki, which there is a dip. I have six more uses left to hit the goal. Um, so next update, I'll probably be able to roll another shade in this palette. And um, yeah, that's a shade that I'll always be able to come back to. So I know I'm going to be able to hit pan because I used it a lot as a lower lash line if I wanted to make sure I could use it in a look. I did use it on the outer corner a decent bit, um, but I mostly used it as a lower lash line shade. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So this will, I should hit the six more uses by the next update and then we'll roll another shade in, hopefully to hit pan that time. And then finally we have a shade from the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I actually only used the shade three times it's the shade Queen down here. There is actually a, 
a dip. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I'll try to pop up pictures, but there's a dip near the bottom. I feel like if I focus on it, I'll be able to hit pan. So that's exciting. Um, otherwise I have 17 uses until I hit the 20 use mark because I did not really reach for the shade. It's a little bit darker of a lid shade than I usually gravitate towards, but I did use, um, some of my super shock shadows to kind of lighten up a bit and it worked out pretty well. All right. So I just quickly swatched the two shades that are remaining. This is Kiki from Lunar Beauty. And then this is Queen from their Decay Naked Honey. So these go quite well together. Um, and let's uh, first I'll talk about my number of pans and my number of shadows and my pan percentage first. So I have 20 pans in my collection. I have 436 shadows currently that is going to expand because I still have my, uh, I ordered the Kaleidos palette, um, and some Tammy Tanuka shadows from last year that are on the way to me. They just made it into the States, so they should be here soon. Um, so that will be expanding a little bit <laughs> and I got some in from end of December as well and I also um, removed I forgot to remove my Anastasia pans which I decluttered from my collection so those were still there so that affected my pan percentage so with all that being said I have a pan percentage of 4.56 and I don't have a goal for that I just wanted to share that before we got into randomizing some shades so we have 436 eligible shades in the collection that includes the ones that I already had in this project that can be re-rolled. So I'm going to pull up random.org. All right, so I have random.org pulled up and I'm going to randomize three shades. So we've got 13, I should write this down. So we've got 13, 179, and... 193. How I have my spreadsheet is I have everything in alphabetical order so when I add new stuff I do add it to the bottom and then I just uh, sort it by ascending or whatever. So let's see what we've got. Oh interesting. So oh my god I think I love this. Okay hold on I'll read out what they are and then I'll grab them. So I have the book of bay. <laughs> I cannot speak. I have the beauty bay book of magic palette. I have 179 which is ooh a Davina shade pixie sticks and then 193 which is another Davina shade which is Skyla so let me grab those and we'll get into it all right so I'm really excited <laughs> about these shades so first up I chose number 13 which comes from my Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette and I got the shade Potion which is the very last shade down here, which is this beautiful blue color. I'm really excited. These are really nice creamy shimmers too. They're almost super shocky, so we'll see how many uses it takes to um, hit pan. I'm so excited. There's Potion. It's a really pretty blue color. I'm really excited. It also stained my finger. <laughs> um, and then I got 179, which is... Let me make sure I'm grabbing the right one. 179, which is the shade Pixie Sticks from Davina. This is one of their um, Exploders collections. This is a super soft shade. I'm really interested to see how long this takes. So that is it on my finger. It's a pink to gold shimmer. It's really soft, but it's so pretty on the eyes. So there it is right there. You can see the shift. It's really beautiful. And I'm really glad I was able to pull some singles and get use on these because I love them so much. Um, and then I pulled another Davina shade. This is number 193, and this is the shade Skyla. This is from their Galaxy Dush uh, collection, which is another really pretty purple. I'll show you. Oh, it's like a purple to blue duochrome. So there's our new color story. I'm so excited. We have one matte in all shimmers, <laughs> which I do prefer mattes just because then I can like switch up the shimmers, but that's okay. I'm really excited. I love this. I love all these shades. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is our new color story. We have Kiki from the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. We have Queen from the Urban Decay Naked Honey. We have Potion from the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. We have Pixie Six from Davina and Skyla from Davina. I need to put down my arm. It's getting sore. <laughs> I am so excited with the new shades. Um, so by the next update, I should have the Lunar Beauty one. Um with the number goal met so we can roll in another Lunar Beauty shade and then will I be able to hit pan on any of these other shades? I don't know maybe Queen maybe Potion just because this is a very creamy formula 
but other than that, probably just this one, but we'll see. I am really excited with this color story. I am just, ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.